Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like. Today I am going to talk about this beautiful clutch purse I made. This is a requested video. Uh, some of my subscribers have requested me to make this clutch purse. So I have made this purse. Now this uh, these viewers asked me to make the purse for Diwali. But this could be on any occasions, any parties. So let me talk to you about this purse. Now as you see this purse has here a beautiful button which closes here a closer and now inside it has plenty of space to keep your handkerchief your cell phone or or a little lipstick or comb something like that so this has um, this uh, this is a little bit different than the other purses i have made because the other purses i have made which was one layer and this has two layers so as you see this has two layers so this is really a beautiful looking purse and I'm going to talk to you about this purse. So to make this purse what I used a base is this egg carton. See egg carton cover this is made out of cardboard and this is the material I have used. To make the purse what you need to do is you need to separate here gently you separate this now after you do this this you have to cut it in certain ways so you have two portions of this so the base is this egg cut two and a half dozen egg cotton. So this is the one I have used. And the reason for using this because this is an has a nice fold on the top and also this material is easy to sew on. So and then it will give the base for the purse. So I'll show you my little pieces I have used. So I have used this one piece. So this is how it's going to fold, see, so this is the top, top fold and I have used another one is for the bottom. Now this one is lengthwise is 12 inches and the width wise 10 inches and this one is the lengthwise, this is 16 inches and the width wise this is 12 inches. So I'm going to put all these measurements in my description so you can look it up. And now we have to cut equal amount of fabric. I'm using black fabric, cotton fabric for this one. But this was made with polyester fabric, blue polyester fabric. And then I got this um, trim. I think it was from India but you could get similar trim. Uh, at some craft store and I will put all that uh, in my description below that where you can get this kind of trim I will not be able to discuss any store because I'm not getting paid by the store to, to do the video so I will not be able to talk about any stores so here you see as you have seen my other clutches and other purses where I use this base and once I have cut out the fabric just a little bit bigger than the base size so just tiny bit bigger so you can sew it and then you put it as if you're putting a pillow cover and then you're gonna stitch the top so I have done the similar thing here and then after I have done that then I put this trim and then the trim is only two sides and the top and the bottom I have added another trim to cover up the stitches and here I have used blue fabric because uh, here the fabric is blue but you can use yellow uh, uh, thread 
or blue thread I have used blue thread so you can do that either way if you want a contrasting color you can put a contrasting color but if you want matching color you can put matching and uh, even if you have a contrasting color thread like this and then you decide that you do not want your thread to sew aside all you need to do is you use this glitter dimensional fabric pen as i discuss about this in my all my videos i use this product which is uh, for decorating the t-shirt but i have invented a new purpose for it which is glue you could use it as a glue and while this see you see i have done the decoration with this and at the same time i have glued all my beads and sequences with this so it has dual purpose you are going to make decoration with this uh, as well as it will work as a glue and this glue is so good that it does not uh, come out in washing and drying so well i wouldn't throw this one in washer and dryer but i decorated on jeans and i have washed the jeans in washer and dried in dryer and this glue does not melt it does not come out the sequence stays the same so this is really a good product to use to make your t-shirts or any sari decoration or anything that you're making tablecloth or anything I will make tablecloth and make designs on that with this and I'll show it to you that uh, it really makes beautiful decorations as well as you could glue anything you want. So uh, back to the purse, what you can do is if you don't want this black thread to sew out here, you could just put a long line of this glitter dimensional fabric paint and that it, after you do the decoration you must let it dry for three to four hours before you can do anything so first you can create this decoration on the fabric let it dry and then you stitch the fabric as a pillowcase and then you put the this thing the cardboard inside it but let me show you a little bit i will not be able to show you the entire thing as you see this decoration needs to dry four hours so I cannot make the video again for hours, for hours. So I will just show you um, uh, how I did it. And this clutch purse is very similar to the others I did. It just a little bit different design and few different features I have added. One of the features I have added is I have added the extra, another uh, extra cardboard inside. So you have many pockets to put your things. Another different feature I have added is I have put this um, beautiful button. This button also I got it from a fabric store. You can get it from any craft store. And then I put this trim, tiny little trim to go around the button like this. And that makes the purse really different than the other ones. And you see it looks so nice. Now you'll be holding this purse like this. And I added another extra features that you could slip it in your arms like this in party while you're eating or something. You don't want to hold it so you slip it in your arms like this and it'll stay because this is really sturdy. I found a sturdy trim and I used it in there. So as you see this one came out to be really a beautiful clutch slash purse so I'm sharing my ideas with you and many of you have requested this video. So let's get on with this, see how it's done. So first we're going to work on our first fabric and the cardboard. So as I told you the measurements, I will put it in the description. And I have my fabric seed already cut. I'm using this black cotton fabric because I use all others so like satin fabrics and I have used the polyester so this is I'm going to do the cotton so you measure your material and the fabric and make sure that they are right size you can pin it while you're measuring so this is you see very good size now I'm going to stitch it and then I will put it inside now when you stitch it and put it inside that's the time 
is that you should do your decoration. Now right now if I want to do my decoration, I will be doing like this because this is the best way to do the decoration right now and I will let it dry. After it dries, then I will do the rest of the work. So let me stitch this one as a pillowcase. So you will just make sure they matches all the corner and you have just little bit of extra fabric. You're going to be making it just like a pillowcase. Now this video will be really great for beginners as well. So this is how you stitch. You take your needle and thread. This is just a long running stitch I'm giving. So you take your needle and thread and just put it, gather your fabric and put it the needle inside and then pull it out. Nothing much to it, just a basic running stitch. So you will be doing this all the sides except you're gonna leave the top open because that's how we're going to get our cardboard inside so i'm going to just quickly show you one side and then i will do the two sides of camera and then i will come back otherwise i do not want to bore you with this same stitch now you stitch twice because we're going to put it inside and we do not want this to come out and if you want to do it in a machine you can do it but I'm just gonna do the entire purse handmade no machine needed I found out since we are using this glue I really don't need machine because this glue and the decoration holds things together very well now we're gonna do the second time So as you see, I have done one side and I'm going to do the other side and come back. So as you see, I have stitched these two sides and this side was already joined previously and over here is opening. So as you see, it's like a pillowcase. Now I'm going to turn it inside out like this and this has become exactly like a pillowcase. Now push the corners out. And now you're gonna insert your cardboard. So you insert your cardboard inside the fabric just like a pillow and you can make this fabric double too if you want to give more little bit more body to it and also you can add a little sponge kind of material soft material here or maybe a little bit more extra fabric to give it a softer look but the one I made I didn't add anything and still looks good and soft just had this cotton fabric so now here you make sure that it's not bended it's flat and if you need at this point if you see that your fabric is kind of wrinkled then you should iron it very well iron it and now when you Finish putting it inside, make the cardboard completely flat and iron the fabric so that it doesn't have any wrinkles. But at the same time do not make the cardboard and the fabric too tight. It's kind of starts bending. Now over here, now at this time you're going to fold and stitch it. So you fold it, stitch it, but do not make it too tight because you don't want it to be like sort of like a bending. Now after you do that, then you fold like this and you fold like this. So now basically you already have your purse. This is how this is done. 
but we are going to put another inside to it so as i mentioned at this point you're going to have to iron it and after we iron then we're going to make this second one see i told you the second one so let me stitch all the sides of the second one with the fabric and put it inside the fabric pillowcase and come back and show you how I'm going to stitch these two. Basically after I cover this one with fabric I'll go in like this and I will stitch it. I will first stitch this base to this. After I'm done that then I will fold it and then I will stitch these two sides. After I'm done that then I will fold it again like this. And make sure everything is in place after that is done then I have to open it again like this but by that time this insert will be already stitched so it will be already looking like a purse inside now with that I will put it like this now either you have done the decoration before before you stitch or this is the time that you will do your decoration once you've done your decoration, decoration is all set, then you can stitch your trim. So this one what I did is I added the trim. So trim we're going to add like this side to this side. So that's one. Now you're going to add another one here. Now, as you go folding this, you will add another trim here. So you will have, hopefully I have three little pieces. So I will have another one here. You can add any kind of trim. I got this one from India. You can find this kind of trim in your local craft store. Now you see, after I added the trim, now this trim and the stitching will be visible and I do not want that I do not want all these things to be visible from outside so then what I did is I added another trim and folded nicely the sides like this and I added the trim here so that this one when it folds nothing will be visible only thing will be visible is this outside trim now this trim is yellow color and my fabric is black so I can choose to use either black fabric black thread or yellow thread to stitch depending on whichever color you prefer either way it will look nice whether you will stitch it with black thread or whether you stitch it with yellow thread so after we do that then I will go ahead and take this little trim and you measure with your hand see this fits nicely and then you hold it like this and go to a corner here and stitch it so that's gonna be your kind of holding you can hold the parts like this so that's a tiny little strap now after we do that then we're gonna measure over here uh, we put a dot with a chalk to measure the center and we're gonna add a button so you can choose any button. I got these buttons from a craft store too. This is a beautiful one. So you can choose a button and add it here. And once you add the button, then you can take a tiny little piece of trim and add the trim over here. So you have the trim and the button. That's a closer to your clutch. It's like a clasp. It's a, so you measure and you put it like this. So after that done then at the end I will stitch the sides this side stitching will be exactly the same the way I have done all the other purses stitch the side once I stitch the side then first stitching then second step I put the beads so as you see this is just like Mother's Day purse and all the other purse at the very end you will be stitching the sides and this material with this uh, 
egg carton cardboard was very easy to stitch so you stitch the sides and after the first stitch the second stitch you use beads so I have used beads and this thread also I have used blue thread because my fabric is blue fabric you can use either whatever is the fabric that color or you can use whatever is the trim that color you can choose so I could have used yellow but I chose to use blue now over here stitching the trim I chose to use blue you can use blue or yellow depending on whatever color you prefer whether you want to give a little contrasting look so or you can do the same kind depending on what is that you're looking for now after all this we're going to do the design so before you stitch you need to do the design because once you stitch in the sides you cannot do the design but you can finish everything else all the things including stitching your button and your strap and then leave it open and do the design and dry it for three hours and your last step will be stitching these two sides and adding beads so let me see if i can show you a little bit more how to do it so now i will go back and stitch the second one and then i'll come back and show you how i added these two now i'm going to stitch this cardboard inside this fabric so i'm going to make this fabric just like a pillowcase as well so i'm going to have to leave one side opening and stitch two sides this other side at the bottom is already stitched we don't need to stitch that so i am doing this side and the other side and leaving one side open as you see have it like this is just a needle and a thread and you put a knot at the bottom and this is very simple you just go with your needle and thread and just like do it like this gather the fabric together this just basic running stitches and this fabric is little bit bigger than the cardboard the cardboard is 12 inches length and 10 inches wide and I'm going to put all this measurements in my description so you can see how it is done and all these parses are done with the cardboard inside this one is done with the cardboard from egg uh, carton you, as you buy two and a half inches two and a half dozens of eggs those egg cartons you can use they're soft to make uh, the purses or any other decorative things because those egg cartons i have seen the material here material is really soft and you can stitch on it you can sew on it so that's why i found this very handy and it gives a very tough base to the purse because every purse need a tough base then it looks better so i'm going to do this one two times when you're doing all this stitching and all the project by hand you definitely have to stitch two or three times because i don't want your stitches to come out and if you can run the machine that's really nice but if you don't have one and you cannot run one you can do this by hand as well all you need to do when you're doing by hand is to make sure that you stitch a couple of times go around so this is my second time going through this we have a little pull in the thread that's the best part of working with the cotton because it's not so bad but if you work with polyester or other it's really bad when the thread gets pulled so now i might have to get another needle and thread all my threads are getting tangled so now 
I'm going to do the other side as well and then I will put this and sew the front and I will come back and show you how you can add these two bases together. Okay, we done one side and now I will go ahead and do the other side. So that way I don't bore you so much with the stitching. See, we've done this one side. Now let me do the other side and I will put this cardboard inside like a pillowcase and sew the top. Once I do that, I'll come back and show you how to stitch these two together. So as you see I have stitched all these two sides and this was already pre-stitched and then I have stitched this side. Now I'm going to fold it like this and I'm going to place it inside this purse and put it here and then stitch these two. So this will be another fold so that way I have more space to keep things inside. As you see the purse will be like this. The clutch or the purse will be like this and I have inside more spaces to keep my thing so how do you stitch it we make sure that this this portion inside portion is in the center and then you hold it and both from both the sides you have equal amount of spaces the equal amount of spaces left from both the sides, and this little purse is in the center now if you make it already as a purse and try to stitch it that won't work. So you have to keep it open like this then stitch the center first. So you take a big needle. You cannot do it with a little needle. You need a big needle. My threads all getting tangled here. I was trying to do it ahead of time but I see a bunch of tangled thread. So I am using a big needle. Now with this you go from inside. Make sure this is in center and you go from inside and you poke it out. Now your bigger stitches will be inside and your smaller stitches will be outside. So from outside I will just feel it by hand or eyeball it. I'm just doing exactly here the stitches nowhere else and it's better if you have the similar color and you give a tiny little stitch not too big see so make sure this pull right here is get little tangled that's one thing you need to worry to make sure they don't get tangled. Now when they do get tangled like this, what you usually do is cut it and then here put a knot. And hope that they don't get tangled again. So now once you do a, one little knot, now you go again, but here you can take a big one. Okay, big leap here and make sure it's coming out exactly at the bottom of this not any other places so you see I have a big stitch here that shouldn't matter because it's inside but here I'm going to go through a little one not too big not too large ugly looking here just a little one now I come out here then I can go another big one but I have to make sure that I'm coming out I'm coming out through this not anywhere else coming out through this line over here see you always have to keep this line straight now if if this is a little bit problem for you then you can 
draw a line just to be sure that you are in the right place when you stitch these two together and if this is a little problem for you so you go draw a line so you know you'll be coming out at the right place and this you can wipe up later this is all the drawing thing you do with the chalk so you can wipe up later but at least you know that where you should be when it is stitching wise now this drawing makes it really easy now you go inside here do not give too wide just give a little and you come out now you come out through this because of this drawing now you don't need to look so much you just and you can do this one two times see you draw one line with the chalk and then you can work on that now you see it's getting nicely stitched inside now you do two times this bag will never come out all these things you won't be doing it in the machine because it's just impossible to sew this two in machine these are all hand stitch bags so that's why these bags will be little pricey if you make it and want to sell it because you see you have a lot of um, hard work put into it cost wise it's cost effective but if you see the hard work it put it into it is a lot now here you come out you feel it and then also you see it has to be inside your mark you cannot go outside this line you have to stay in this line that's the that is the whole purpose of putting this line so you stay where you're supposed to stay see how snugly this is becoming very good is becoming I'm going to finish this one and then I will see you with the side place now don't give too much gap bring it closer together not too much gap not too little gap just certain way that you can see that your bag will stay there now when we do decoration this portion won't be visible anymore because we will have to decorate this fabric so with our decoration this portion will go away so you don't need to worry about it so you see this is how I'm going to finish the rest and when you do this okay now after that after I finish the rest then I'm going to have to go and stitch these two sides and these two sides after i do that then i'll do the extra work or i can keep it like this and lay it flat and do the design and finish the design and then let me finish stitching this and i will meet you and i will start the design portion and then i'll show you with two of the last ones and then we'll decorate that so i will show you like this you go from the bottom with the needle and thread and come outside like this so this is how you're going to stitch this side and exactly the similar way the other side is done too you do two or three of this a little one and then you from the bottom you go a long length like from the bottom you see this length is long thread will have long length from the bottom the top little so this is how you will go this side and this side two of these sides i'm going here i'm actually i'm going from through inside the sequence that way the sequence will hold on better but mm, you can just buy plain trim as well and then add sequence to it and i'll show you that in my next video is how to add sequence in a plain trim because the the trim with the sequence definitely will cost more but if you add your own sequence that will be cheaper I see since the other side I cannot see sometimes I have like this tangle one when you have like this you cut it and tie a knot here and then you can trim it off 
because this is inside portion it's not going to be visible to the outside now snap it off so all you need to do is come outside here and do a little bit outside and then go inside again and inside will be bigger stitches outside will be smaller stitches for every project you need to do outside tiny little stitches and with exactly the same thread as your trim or you can give a little contrasting color so you can have a trim one color suppose this trim is yellow and the fabric is black so you can have a black thread instead of yellow but I choose the yellow thread so it won't be visible at all from outside and it'll be more like a design. So now go like this. So as the, you see, this is how the trim is done. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you with this one stitching all the trim. I'll just go and come back quickly and show you how I did the button and the strap. So this is how you're gonna do your trim. So I will show you how to add this trim. This is the trim for the top. I have done both this, both the sides. I'll show you how to stitch the inside parts, the two layers outside and inside. So at this point, we are going to do the inside stitch. And then we're going to do the top trim. So let's do the top trim first and then the inside stitch so you always make sure that you know where is the top this is the top now in this one I'm going to add this trim like this and then you have equal amount coming out from this side so we start from the end and then go to the other end from end to end so you hold it like this, your trim, and you have your needle and thread. So we start from here because we want to hold on to the end of the trim. Actually we want to put the knot in the inside so we we'll go from the inside. You have a knot at the end of your thread so the thread doesn't come out and here you hold it like this and we can start from this corner and we'll be going towards this side so first we do one side and then we'll go start the other side So you could do like just like a basic running stitch. And since this cardboard is really soft, it's very easy to stitch on it. So you see, this is really giving a good stitch and you cannot see much. Now we'll have to fix this edge this corner so we we'll work on this corner first before we go any farther so this is how you stitch the corner it's going to be along with the fabric along with your cardboard and the fabric so you know this stitch will be secure and your trim will be secure to the edge and the fabric So first you need to secure the trim in the sides, then you stitch the entire trim. So you see here, this beautiful edge it gave. Now you go back again, this side. And we're gonna go up again, because we're not gonna do the down. First we have to do the top, and then we come back to the bottom. So we pull it out, and now, We're going to do the entire top. 
So like this, you will be stitching the entire top. This is just a basic running stitch. In some places your sequence, see the sequence coming off, so we go inside the sequence to secure the sequence like, as well. So like this you will continue and you will go throughout the entire top and bend it this side and do it and then you have to do, go at the bottom part and do that as well just like we did the these two sides this is a wide trim when the trim is wider you have to do the top and the bottom now you don't want to make the trim too tight because you don't want to bring wrinkles to this fabric So just basic running stitch you will be giving to the top and the bottom. So since we are stitching on the cardboard and the fabric and the trim, so you need a very good needle and a very sturdy thread. This thread is very strong. So like this I will finish the entire section and then I'll come back and show you how I stitch these two sides and how I put the button and the trim here as a clasp. Okay so it, it should look like this and then we're gonna put the button and the closer to the button and then I'm going to add the side handle to it and then at the end decorate and at the very end we're gonna do the side so a few more minor details left in it and I'll be back to finish those so let me finish this stitching this so as you know this is how we give simple running stitch both the side and stitch the trim and this is already beginning to look really pretty and we have to do few minor details 